revolution was a gigantic endeavor. For us, the revolution was much more than a um, political project. It was a life project. All the people of Managua was there celebrating. This is the, the best day of the lives of uh, many of us. Everything seems possible then. There is no limit. We thought that it would last forever. We lived it like that. The Sandinista Revolution at the time was a romantic revolution. It, it seemed like it could really produce a change in Nicaragua. We were there when we were young, trying to transform society, to build the new men, and it didn't happen. We had our chance as a generation, and we blew it. The Sandinistas invited my mother to give this movement more legitimacy. We wanted at that time to overthrow Somoza and to get democracy in Nicaragua. She had become like a symbol of unity. And so I asked her, are you sure you wanna go? And she said, look, if Nicaragua needs me, I'll go. We hunt to get our meat and fish. We plant, we are not communists, we are not Marxist Leninists, we are self-sufficient people. But there was a human rights problem. The United States tried to orchestrate a negotiation to see if we couldn't help Nicaragua become a more open and pluralistic democracy. Those negotiations, however, tragically failed because once you come to power with the barrel of the gun, all other forces in the society are, are secondary. The Sandinistas held the first truly democratic elections in Nicaraguan history. And of course, the big price they paid was that they lost. This was the first time in world history that a socialist movement left power via elections after having come to power via the armed struggle. I was convinced that changing hearts and changing minds is the only way that any material change can last. Nosotros creo que dignificamos al nicaragüense como persona al que anteriormente era humillado, tratado, eh, explotado, verdad que no tenía ningún valor, y más bien nosotros le dimos voz, le dimos ciudadanía, le dimos derechos, y, y también le dimos tierra, recursos, educación. The situation in Nicaragua presented opportunities. Much of what the Sandinistas had done was good, and much of what they did was to be criticized. U.S. policymakers from Ronald Reagan to Donald Trump believed that might makes right. The Reagan administration was just obsessed uh, with overthrowing the Sandinistas. They saw Central America's, quote, our backyard, unquote. And that is what the Trump administration is trying to do now. In April of 2018, suddenly, to use a Nicaraguan metaphor, the volcano exploded. Era de emociones. Y esas emociones cambiaban cada, cada segundo, cada minuto. Pero cuando inician los disparos e iniciaron los muertos, ahí cambia. What happens to revolution is the imposition of a harsh authoritarian regime like we have in Nicaragua today the inevitable result? If so, what does that tell Nicaraguans for what they should be doing now? How do we explain this to our own kids? What I am convinced of is that the figure that inspired us, Sandino, will also inspire them. The truth has to come out so that people can understand the real history of Nicaragua and transform it. When you close all avenues for political change, in the long run, people find no other way out. Que aflore lo más, lo más horrible de la naturaleza humana, bueno, lo que... pero que también aflore lo mejor que, puede, que existe en nuestra sociedad. I think we will obtain the practical elements and, you know, and the objective element to transform the Nicaraguan society. I'm still a dreamer. It's not going to be easy. 
I think uh, we'll, we, we will learn <laughs> the lesson. <laughs> Put freedom in the first place. Because as long as you have freedom, you can strive and bring about changes 